Hey guys, it's Alex from Destin Fumes. Since we're all familiar with mask wearing because of COVID and the pandemic, I wanted to talk about respirators. This is the one that you hear about most, the N95. These are okay for basic chores around the house, house cleaning, um, cleaning dust, debris, maybe some light sanding, light carpentry work, but they're not the best for surfboard building. This is what a decent respirator mask looked like. They come all different colors, different shapes and sizes. Like this one is a size large, and this one is a size small. And this one I believe is a, this one's a medium. And it says it right on the nose part right here. So if you're looking for a respirator size, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or online, if you check up top by the nose right here, nose area, you, that's how you know what size it is. And the way these respirator masks work is this back part goes around your neck, kind of like a necklace. And this top part just goes over the hat. And you just pull it tight over and it should just fit. Now, once you find the size of your respirator mask, what you want to do is you want to figure out what you're going to use it for. Are you going to use it for dust? Are you going to use it for fumes? So dust would be like larger particulates, sawdust, uh, dust, fiberglass dust sand, maybe some light spray painting if you're doing spray painting around the house. These are mainly meant for filtering larger particulates. They come in different colors. The pink ones to me are the best. They're the P series. They're 99.9%. Uh, they filter most of, the, most of the stuff. Now these guys are for organic matter and vapors. So fumes, paint, acid, uh, resin work, epoxy, both epoxy and polyester. The difference between the two is this guy is only for vapor. If you were to spray paint and use this, it would be perfectly fine. But if you use this while you're sanding, the sand dust, the sawdust will get stuck in here and clog it up and then it'll no longer work for blocking fumes. But what you can do is you get something like this. This thing does both. It does fumes, dust, so you can sand this part out here, similar to this pink. It's practically, this guy is practically this and this, like that. But the problem with this is, this part out here that blocks the dust, it's so small that once you get dust in here, there's no way to get it out. This thing is practically glued on. There's no way to get it out. So what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna blow some air into it, but the air will push the dust back in and it's not gonna work anymore. It's gonna get clogged up. Now these guys are great because the dust hits it from the outside and all you have to do is just dust it off. Now why I'm doing this video is because I stumbled upon something really, really cool and I wanna share it with you guys. So a friend of mine brought this to me to try and these are called 3M502 adapters. It comes in a box of 20 like this, so there's 10 pairs. I only need two, but there's a bunch of them in here. Now, if you go online, which is what we did, if you go online and you look at Amazon, for one of these right here, it's 12 bucks. You can see that. So if you go online right here, one of these is 12 bucks, 11.50 plus, Shipping, maybe it's free shipping to you guys in Hawaii. Usually they charge the shipping. Um, and then this other one is a box of 20, similar to uh, what I just showed you, for $52.94. Now down here is another one, a box, same thing as that 50 one, but a box of 20 for $62.74 plus $14.86 in shipping. Now if you go to a Home Depot or Lowe's, they do not offer, they do not sell this. Now the cool thing about this is it gives you the filtration of this larger piece for fumes, vapors, organic matter. But the dust protection of this, so it's like this. And it's got this foam piece in here that, um, and this little, I guess this little teeth right here. What you do is you put this thing in here, goes right over there, and then you snap it on. You gotta listen for the snap to make sure it's on. Hear that? Then it's on. Then you take this guy and this guy. Two teeth, two of these teeth are large, one is small. And on these guys, the negative of that is the same. Two is large, one is small. You just put it on like this, you spin it around. So now you got two of these and one of this, and you don't have to carry around these. You don't have to swap them out. So if you're sanding, 
and you're gonna use this. And if you're gonna do some resin work or painting or whatever, then you gotta swap out to this and it's kind of a hassle. Then you take two of these and you put them on your mask. Like that. Oops, sorry. So now when you're using this, let's say for spray painting or resin work, and there's some dust, all you gotta do is this. And it keeps this from getting all clogged up like this one would. So the benefit of this is it increases the, the life of this uh, vapor respirator, uh, vapor filter. And when you're done using it, what you wanna do is you wanna store it in a Ziploc bag like this. It's the most cost effective way and it works great. And all you do is put it in here and you zip it up and you store it away somewhere that's uh, nice and cool and safe, low in humidity. So if you guys know anyone that's interested in these, I've got six pairs left. It's gonna be $10, which is $7 as cost and $3 for shipping anywhere in the US. If you're outside the US, just let us know. E uh, DM me or email us at justinfumes at gmail.com.